Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode. Boy, we got a beautiful one for you this time. Linguini with fresh clams, pan-seared tuna, and a peppery salty broth, and paired with a Gasparo Tidal Bay white wine. Wickedly delicious, easy to make, get ready. wonderful thing about this week's episode, it's all homegrown. Right from the, the clams from Clam Digger Dave, tuna from my friend Blaine Anderson, Anderson Fisheries. Thank you folks, thank you guys for that. And a special addition, I've got a homemade apple pie from Clam Digger Dave's mother. Thank you for that Viola, really appreciate that and hope you enjoy the show. Linguini, first up, we gotta put the linguini on, sea salt, Linguini in the pot. Be right back. Okay, well the past is on. All we want to do is put in two tablespoons of butter. And we have five cloves of garlic here. And I've already gone ahead and did it. We need two tablespoons of freshly chopped parsley. And a little bit for good measure. And then these pepper flakes. We want to put a half a teaspoon of pepper flakes in there. Perfect. Get it going. And we want to do it till the garlic gets sort of nice and golden brown. Last to go in is using this pestle and mortar. All we want to do is grind up these peppercorns. And there we go. This is what we want right here. That is a heaping tablespoon of black pepper. Right in there, folks. Okay, next up is the fun part. We're going to add a big giant cup of white wine. Get some of that crack in there. Bring it up to a bit of a boil and then we're gonna take it right down to a simmer. And these are beautiful clams. Thank you, Clam Digger Dave. They are as fresh as ever. Right out of the ocean, dug out by him. And we are going to post Clam Digger Dave's email address so you can give them a give them a line and look at that Woo. they're still coming out look at these guys they're as fresh and alive as you can get and what we want to do is we're going to turn this down now it's coming up to a boil as soon as it gets to a boil we're going to simmer that for about another five minutes until these these guys open up okay now we're going to simmer this Cut that down, we're gonna simmer this for five minutes or until they open. If they don't open up, throw them out. Pairing wine with dishes is, is real science and I'm just lucky, lucky, very lucky. We're very lucky to be partnered up with our friends from a local winery company from Nova Scotia, Yost Wineries. They have a boutique winery, Gasparo Tidal Bay today is the wine we're going to pair this with. It's crisp. It, especially with, it really, really helps offset the papery notes that you're going to pick up from this dish. If you haven't tried Ghost Wineries, time to get in the store and get some. Okay, last but not least, a nice giant sized cup of clam juice. Beautiful. And we're going to take some linguine here. We're going to get all that beautifully fresh linguine. One of the things that you can do if you're cooking linguine and it gets to the right Dante, that's the right bite, you don't want to overcook it. All you have to do is just stop it, drain it, put cold water on it, and hold it till you're ready to put it back in here so you don't overcook the, the pasta. There's nothing worse than having uh, pasta that is not the correct al dente. Last but not least, I need a big, big teaspoon of fresh lemon zest. I'm take that heat right back up and then turn it on. Getting ready to do the pan seared tuna. It doesn't take long to do the tuna at all. You will not get anything fresher than this, folks. Absolutely be delicious when you complement it with that Tidal Bay wine from our friends at Yost Winery. Okay, last but not least, take a giant tablespoon and a half of butter. Just a splash of light virgin olive oil. And while that's happening, we're going to take these head steaks that my good friend Blaine Anderson was kind enough to give to me after he caught like a 1200 pound tuna. So I'm just going to season this right here on this board. You see how I'm doing that? It's 
toss it all up there like, the, like so. And over to the pan. Now she's really starting to perk. And hear it. I'm gonna lay these guys like so on the sides. Oh my gosh. This is the candy. This, these head steaks are what I call the candy of the tuna. Wonderful. It's something you can put together. You know, when you have everything all ready, if you have the clams ready and the, and the tuna ready, you're really only talking about 30 minutes of prep time. Well, everyone, while well, this is my favorite time after doing the show and getting ready to devour this delicious dish, paired with Tidal Bay, the sweetness, the acidity, the aromatics, gosh, it gives you notes of apple and apricot right here on the palate. I get the apple at the back of the palate and the apricot at the front. Wonderful. It's just delicious. So perfect, folks. Check it out. Tidal Bay. One of my favorites. Mm. Those, that tuna is wonderful. You know, the tuna is optional, but wow. It just goes so well with the clams. to seeing you all next week hope you enjoyed the show please don't forget to like share and subscribe to captain kenny's galleys thanks again for joining in